Do you know, there was once a man who was meant to become a priest, but instead, he wrote the most debated theory in human history. His name was Charles Darwin. He was born in 1809, in England. His father was a wealthy doctor, and his mother came from a respected, religious family. As a child, Darwin wasn't outstanding at school. He preferred wandering in nature, collecting rocks, insects, and animal bones. His father wanted him to be a doctor, but Darwin couldn't stand the sight of blood, so he switched to theology preparing to become a priest. Yet, in that very place, the University of Cambridge, he fell deeply in love with nature and science. In 1831, an opportunity changed his life forever. He joined a five-year voyage aboard the HMS Beagle, traveling around the world from South America to the Galapagos Islands. There, he noticed something strange yet fascinating. Birds on each island looked similar, but their beaks were different. Some long, some thick, each shaped for the food on their island. Darwin began to wonder, could they all have come from the same original species, slowly changing to survive in their environment? He found the same pattern among tortoises, iguanas, and fossils of ancient creatures. All the clues pointed to one idea, that life on Earth is not fixed, but constantly changing through time. After years of study, Darwin formed a grand idea he called natural selection. In nature, only the beings best suited to survive will continue to live, while others fade away. From this, he also suggested that all living things may share a common ancestor, even humans. He never wrote that humans came from apes, but rather that humans and modern apes may share the same ancient origin. This idea shocked the world. Churches were furious, scientists argued, and society was torn between faith and science. In 1859, his book On the Origin of Species was finally published, and from that moment, biology was never the same. Darwin never intended to oppose religion. He simply wanted to understand how life survived and changes on Earth. He passed away in 1882 and was buried in Westminster Abbey beside the great scientist Isaac Newton. It was a symbol that even though his ideas caused controversy, the world still honored his courage to seek the truth. From a shy man who almost became a priest came the thinker who made humanity ask once more, where do we truly come from?